Welcome to TackleTrading.com. This is Coach Gino with another option pick update for May 14th going into next week. What do we have? Let's jump right into it. We're going to talk about the Bulls team. Who do we have on the Bulls team? What are we looking at? Let me pick up what I'm looking at. I am looking at a whole bunch of picks. If you look at the stock report, some great bullish picks on the stock report. Tyler Cray published a whole bunch of stock picks. So what I did is I picked my favorite ones out of there. Why? Because not only do I like the patterns, but I like the option setup behind it. The theme of this week is cheap options. What do I mean by that? Well, straight out of the stock report, I like his IYR pick fundamentally because it is real estate season ever since ever since April about Easter actually is when kickoff real estate season. I like the bullish pullback, a nice high made here on IYR, which is the real estate ETF. Pulls back, finds support in the 20, and right above the last um, resistance breakout there. I really like that area there. If it breaks above the trigger just about here, by the way, if you go on the option report site, I put in my triggers for entry, exit, and target. But most importantly, I put my strategy. What strategy am I going to do in here? Well, if you look down here, here's the lesson for the week. Implied volatility on these options, very low, 18, 0.18. That's 18%. They get as high as 30 on this ETF. They get as low as about 14. So 18 is still considered low. I think volatility is going to go up. Why do I think that? The market's getting volatile. There's some sectors breaking down. I think option volatility is going to go up across the board, especially if we get a big market breakdown. So what do you do with low volatility in a bullish trend? Buy options, debits. So you can do long calls, long call spreads, calendars, even vertical um, spreads such as uh, bull call spreads. Staying away from credit spreads like on this. This is too cheap of options to bring in a credit. And there's movement to be made here. So again, cheap options, simple strategy, long call, more advanced diagonal calendar with calls. Next candidate up would be for the Bulls team. We'll try CVS. In the staple, staple sector is a favorite in May. Again, a nice pullback to recent breakout area and the 20-day moving averages there. I see a channel going further up. This is an expensive stock. It moves. It's got an ATR of about $1.66. But what I like about it is volatility is low. Once again, cheap option. Look how low that volatility is compared to what it usually is. It gets up to 35. It's down here near record lows at 19. So you're getting cheap options on an expensive stock. If you want to make it cheaper, do a call spread. So my triggers up in here, again, refer to the site and you will see where the triggers are for entry, exit and stop that I like. Now let's move on to the bear team. What do we have for the bear team? First up, again, from the stock report, MBLY, otherwise known as Mobileye. Mobileye, I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can see what a possible swing high trigger looks like. Down channel. Another great find on our stock report. Starting a downtrend, the trigger is going to be down in this area, right down in this area down in here somewhere. You can see on the report where my trigger is, you get in anywhere you want, but I want to see this trigger and actually confirm a swing high. A swing high is when you get the top of the channel acting as resistance and a nice candle down. Now, downtrending, I'm going to do bear strategies with options. And guess what? Cheap volatility. Even though this says 50, that seems high, this gets as high as 109. So it's at a low, a low. This is low for the history of this stock. So I'll be buying puts with my trigger there. Maybe a put spread, maybe even a diagonal put calendar. Next one for the bears is a big company known as Microsoft. Once again, Notice the possible swing high coming in here. A big gap that it tried to fill. It hasn't made it. I think it's going to fail like the big companies like Apple. Technology is really bad right now. There's a lot of support in here. The trigger is right below this moving average. Check it out. 
cheap options. What do we do with cheap options? We buy them. We don't sell them. Again, long put, diagonal put calendar, maybe even a put spread. You can see what I chose on the option report. Let's jump into credits. What are we doing for credits? You know, not much because I have a lot of covered calls and naked puts on Alcoa, Bank of America, the mining sector, XME, oil, which is USO, natural gas, which is UNG, Gold Corp, GG, GoPro, and Fitbit. We have so many covered calls and naked puts going right now. My theta is positive. If the market breaks down, I want to get out of most of these positions depending on how bad the breakdown is. And I want to sell close to the money calls to protect them, even rolling my puts out. Stay tuned for this Thursday. We're going to have Cash Flow Club where we talk about protecting your cash flow trades. So let's get out of credit spreads and jump into debit spreads. Why? Because debit spreads are cheap right now. Let's talk about one of my last picks for a debit spread here, an advanced strategy. Again, you could do spreads on all these trades. But this one here is an advanced strategy. I'm going to pick Monster. Why do I like Monster? Notice the volatility, record low. The stock's about $150, $148. That's an expensive stock. Even with an expensive stock like this, cheap options still seem to be very expensive. So I'm definitely going to do a spread on this. What am I going to do? I'm going to do a bear spread out of the money down here. and It's going to be short term and a call spread out of the money up here, it's gonna be short term. I call this a debit iron condor where I'm using both call spreads and put spreads on the same stock. Why? Because this guy's a mover. And when options are cheap, I just need it to move a little bit in either direction. And if volatility goes up, guess what? All the options go up in price. So volatility going up will make me money and a big move on the stock will make me money. The only thing that won't make me money is if this goes sideways. So I position size very small on this. If you go to the site and you type in the top right under tackle trading in the top right, we have a search function. Just type in Debicon. Debicon is a strategy otherwise known as a debit iron condor. Okay. Simple as that, guys. Check out our strategies on the site. Enjoy your trading week and stay in the game. Talk to you next Saturday.